This video is about FunClip. FunClip is a fully open source, locally deployed, automated video clipping tool. It leverages Alibaba Tongi Speech Labs open source Fun ASR Paraformer series models to perform speech recognition on videos. Then users can freely choose text segments or speakers from the recognition results and click the clip button to obtain the video clip corresponding to the selected segments. You can try AI clipping using LLM in the fun clip. So we will be installing it locally and then we will also try to play around with it. One thing is that it mainly works in Chinese at the moment. But as I have read through their repo, they say that English support is there, but though rudimentary at the moment, but soon it will be full blown, but looks like a really cool project. So we will be installing it and then we will see how it works. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM for this video plus the GPU card which I am going to show you. So this is a VM where I am using Ubuntu 22.04 and the GPU card they have uh, sponsored is this NVIDIA RTX A6000 of 48 GB of VRAM. So really huge shout out to them. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website. In video description plus also i'm going to put um, a discount coupon of 50 percent which you can use on a range of gpus let me clear the screen also make sure that you have conda installed because we will keeping everything separate from our local system and for that let me first quickly create a conda environment i'm just going to call it fun clip let's wait for it to get created shouldn't take too long it's really very very quick as you can see it is let's step into that conda environment by activating it and then you are going to see it in parentheses on the left let me clear the screen now as a second step is to git clone that fun clip repo and i will also drop the link to it in video description let's wait for it that's done let cd to that directory and then from here you can simply do pip install and then requirements.txt let's wait for it it is going to install a lot of things here so let's wait for it requirements are installed let's also install ffmpeg and image magic for audio and for the images and i'm just using sudo to update the system first and then it is installing this let's wait for it to finish and that is done let's also change this policy if it is available if not that is fine so we just need to put the sudo here and that is done let's clear the screen so this is all the steps which are required for the installation now the good thing is that you can use a gradio demo instead of using sorry so uh, so you can use gradio demo so so that you could use this graphically let me paste that command and if you want to expose it publicly on public url just uh, use a dash s switch to true and then it will be launched publicly but i'm just going to launch it locally and then we will access it in the browser so let me run it and as soon as you run it it is downloading the models and all that which is required so let's wait for it to finish it will take too long just downloading some of the stuff and it is initializing the video clipper at the moment and there you go so as you can see it is now running at our local host at port 7860 so let's go to this browser and try to access it i'm pressing enter here and there you go now i have no idea about chinese but i will try my best to decipher it so you can drop your video here and audio here but i'm just going to use a demo video from their website maybe i'll just select this one so this is a demo video and there is already a chinese prompt here and then i'm just going to click here to clip it and this is where it should have done something but it's not 
maybe i'm not sure what i'm doing wrong because i can't read it from here let me see so if you check here it is just i think i didn't give it proper out uh, inputs and outputs because i have no idea what i'm doing so it says okay so there are some anyway so i'm not going to read this let me try out another video okay i think i got uh, the issue what the issue is you see there is a llm model name which i forgot to select actually i didn't forget to select i didn't mention the api key so by default is it goes with un plus i don't have the alibaba's api key so i have just selected this gpt 3.5 turbo the problem is that when i put the api key here it doesn't mask it so and i don't want to show you my uh, open as api key so what i'm going to do i'm going to pause the video put my api key in here and then i'll just try to run um, this clip and then see what happens and then i will show you the results okay so at last after putting in my key you see this is a uh, when i click here it gave me this clipper result so clipper is has worked it has clipped the text from that video and similarly you can select any other video from here and then clip it out but i can imagine of course uh, if you're uh, english speaking like me i think it will be hard to understand it but looks really cool and hopefully they will be releasing the english version as soon as possible because i can see that there is also some sort of text speaker clipping which looks really cool but i really can't make any proper sort of end of it so i'm not sure what happens here and then there is also some <clears throat> automatic speech recognition which you can do by selecting these audios this is a demo audio and then uh, you can try it out to if you like and this is the audio input and of course you can upload your own data too looks like an interesting project but would be good to really play around with it in the english and some of the features which i uh, like is that for example they say that now they support smart clipping with models like um, un series gpt series and then you can also do some sort of visual recognition so also you can it also supports some of the uh, asr from the whisper model for the english user but it is not available yet which is a shame and then they say that fun clip is also going to explore the abilities of models um, based on various other api based models so let's see how it goes i i think i'm going to uh, just give it a rest and, and just wait until the english stuff is available until then i don't think so it's of any use to me but all in all looks really interesting project let me know what your thoughts are and if you are a chinese speaker let me know um if i have missed any other option or if there is something you would like to add would be really really beneficial that's it guys i will drop the link to this github repo in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you.